Alright guys, so one of my subscribers just notified me that the end of my video that I just posted didn't uh, completely finish the video off for some reason. It's in my editor as it's all there. It didn't you know, corrupt any of the files, but for some reason it just didn't post the end of the video. So right here is the end of the video that you guys didn't get to see. I'm going to call it part 1.5 because it's not part 2, it's still part of the first one. But this is just basically me pulling the head off and showing you guys the bent valve. Which I, I'm just so confused on why I didn't post the whole video. I was going to delete the video and repost it, but it's already got like 50 some views already. And I don't want to, um, you know, just redo all that for no reason. So here is part 1.5, I'm going to call it, of, you know, the broken neon bent valves lost compression video. So, um, here you guys go. See you. And that's as high as I can count to it. Alright, now we got all those out. This is that, uh, I don't know if you guys can see. This is that bolt I used for the cam cap that was stripped out. It's just the trunk bolt. Pretty funny. Oh, it's a food on the ground too. Whatever. Now my cam bolts are taken out, everything is unhooked, exhaust is unhooked, intake's unhooked. Now we're just going to pull the head off of here and see what the fuck it looks like. So, um, we'll end the video like that. Let's pull the head over here and see what the fuck it looks like. Drop one of my things, so let me find that real quick. And that's how you pull ahead in a half an hour on a Dodge Neon, guys. You can see this cylinder is really wet for some reason. I don't know. The cylinder walls look fine. The pistons look like they didn't get to hit. Oh yeah, you can see where it smacked right there. Yep. Valves are definitely bent. The exhaust valves are. Only two valves in the whole head. I might be able to fix that head. Might have bent them all though, because this one kind of looks like it's got a... Looks like it bent right there. It only had 100 PSI of compression in that one. This one looks like it kind of hit too. And that one looks like it hit too. I think they all hit, dude. I'd say that head is probably fucking trash. So let's go over here and take a gander at it. it sucks. These head bolts ain't even that old. Which ones? They don't look like they're even bent. Oh yeah, you can see the gap right there. see that's the one that was leaking to well that's as far as I made it I didn't go any farther after I saw that one was bent I was like yep oh, it's junk it's definitely uh, a bent valve though unfortunately brand new head gasket brand new fucking head bolts everything all fucking trash now because fuck my life there's a hundred dollars for a head gasket that I don't have. And I wish I knew this was going to happen before I order a new phone. I didn't even order a new phone because if I would have got a new phone, it would have been a Note fucking 7. Instead, I just had to get my phone fixed before I could even jump to a new phone. I might be able to reuse these head bolts. They're not that bad. We'll check my head bolt uh, stretch gauge thing, see if they're stretched. We're probably going to try to reuse those head bolts, but that valve has been clear as day. I can fit a nail underneath of it. Well, that's going to conclude part one of the head gasket replacement on the 2-4 swap. 
and uh, if you enjoyed that video smash that like button um, any questions or comments put them down in the comment section and uh, hit that subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed if you guys have any ideas for something to do as an outro like the Carson brother vlogs he um, puts a car of the video at the end of every video I might sweat his balls for a little bit and uh, do that so all my neon fans I'm gonna get you all to send me a uh, picture of your neon or any kind of car honestly I like like all cars I told you that before I'm a, I'm a lover of all cars a car guy loves all cars but anyways send me a picture of your all's cars to that I mean not that to J S U L I C K 420 at gmail.com I'll put it across the screen um, if you guys want to send me pictures to that email I'll post them at the end of my videos and I'll shout you out and uh, I'll even do bikes and skateboards too if you guys don't have cars you know, send me a picture of your, your BMX bike if you got a nice BMX bike. I'm not going to post a piece of shit on there, guys. I mean, if it's decent or it's cool and it's got style and class, I'll post it on there. So send me uh, your shit to that that uh, email address across the screen right now. And um, thanks for watching. We're almost to 1,000. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another daily video. And let's hope we can get this fucking bad boy fixed. Um, sucks that it happened like that. I'm gonna cover this up for the night so it doesn't get any rain in it from my hood vent. And, uh, hopefully we can fix it before this weekend. Maybe if we do, we'll take it to H2O. We'll see. So, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.